From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, David well, Payne. Well, here we go. This is how we do it. We're talking about a sleet storm, and uh, it's been a while. You know what? We've had two weeks ago, we had our record snowfall, 6.8 inches to be exact, right? Remember that Wednesday, Thursday, several weeks ago, and uh, that was all snow, though, all right? Today, though, this is all sleet, a little bit of freezing rain, but maybe but mainly just sleet, all right? And that's the way it's going to continue for the next uh, hour to hour and a half in Oklahoma City. Then it's just going to become lighter. So the roads, they're passable. You can drive. Some are okay, and then some are bad. The sleet begins to pack down and kind of melt into one big solid sheet of ice. That's a problem that I think the roads will actually get worse into the afternoon, even though the sun's rays will try to warm the ground and try to help us a little bit. It's just going to be so cold today that it won't help us a whole lot. So just kind of keep that in mind. Let's go to Val and Amy Castor, get an update from those two. And uh, out near Yukon right now, Val, boy, look at that shot. Val, it's amazing. You went from El Reno back into Yukon, and the sleet has been a lot heavier there for sure. Yeah, David. So right now we're on the city streets in uh, Yukon, and out in El Reno, you know, the, the interstate is so wide open, and the wind just really sweeps across it and blew a lot of that sleet off. Uh, the city streets in El Reno looked a little bit like this, but I do think they have more on the ground here in Yukon. You know, I'm going to say a, maybe about an inch and a half on the ground here, and it just pretty much completely covered all the roads, David. Great job, Val. So that's El Reno. Excuse me, that's Yukon. El Reno looks about like this on the secondary streets and the side streets. So if you have to get out, slow it down, give yourself extra time. Don't forget your cell phone. Take it with you. Make sure you have a full tank of gas. You know the drill, right? We've been doing this a long time. You know what to do. Uh, let's go to Jeremy Carter and get an update from Jeremy. And boy, look at the visibility in that shot. Sleet and fog. A little bit of everything going on up in the Edmond area. Go ahead, Jeremy. In my ear. Yeah, David. So uh, we're here on I-35 southbound. You can see we got Frontier City of the right. Really reduced visibility because of the sleet. And David. You can get around on the roads, but, man, the drifts are making my drive bumpy. It's quite a bit of sleet on the road here. But uh, Bobby is riding with us here this morning, and she said hi. Back to you. Okay. Who, who, who's with you this morning? Bobby. This is Bobby Miller. Bobby. Bobby Miller, right. how? He's supposed to be on the air here in a little bit. He how was? Little monster rental car. He said it wasn't a good idea. She, she can't. Good. She can't hear you because we got some earbud. But how is Bobby Miller with you? I got this random call that she's in a Mazda rental. And oh. she says, hey, you're close to me. Her car and is I've in. i got to go to work. Yes, her car is in the shop. And even if she had her car, she can't drive in this anyway. Yeah, and she had yeah. actually, David. Yeah. There was a, a young lady in a Mustang who had spun out, and she lives kind of on a grade, and her driveway, yeah. of course, is graded to her house. Okay. And there's a young lady spun out in her driveway, going nowhere. She wouldn't have got out of her driveway this morning, David. Yeah. Back to you. Yeah, no doubt about it. All right, great job. Go ahead, and I guess you're going to bring Bobby to work. Man, how does Bobby Miller get a ride into work? Can you take me home? Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy. Can you, you take know, me to McDonald's? Jeremy can. You don't want Bobby taking you home. Oh, no, I got you. You won't one. make it. All right. Bobby kind of locks up when it gets below about 40 degrees. <laughs> locks up. She's a, she vapor locks. She get into this stuff. She's a hot mess. Okay. All right. Let's go to uh, let's go to Tom Pastrano now. Get an update from Tom. And uh, Tom, there you go, down south. And uh, boy, look at that. Is that it looks like Norman again. Is that is that where you are? Yeah, you're River Oaks Drive. Yep, down in Norman. Not good. Yeah, that's right. You know, we have areas out here that's approaching three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch of sleet. And there's definitely some deeper ruts. The sleet continues to fall. Visibilities are getting lower as everybody else is reporting. But yeah, the, this sleet is still falling and it's probably going to start getting a little bit deeper. Back to you. Yeah, no doubt about it. At least, though, Tom, it's going to start to become lighter and then gradually this will end. This is wave one, of course, and wave two arrives later tonight. Okay, back to links one. Looks like this. Chickasha. We're talking about the Broadway extension here. And each time we go to these cameras, the roads are just a little bit worse. We're seeing a little bit less concrete or pavement showing up. There's Northwest Expressway. There's the on-ramp northbound to Hefner Parkway. That's southbound Hefner Parkway right there. The speedway is not the speedway today. Look at the visibilities right now at I-40 and I-44. It is slow going. All right, and that's good. That's what we like to see. Um, school's closed. OCCC, not much going on there. Parking lot is empty. There's I-44, and then 
There's our Reach City Cam from downtown. There's Midwest City and Dell City there. Dark, the fog, a little bit of fog going on, and of course the sleep falling. And hey, Cowboy Cam looks good. Looks good there. Beautiful shot. All right, so big wave moving in, moving out, beginning to end in southern Oklahoma. And this will gradually kind of pinwheel east of I-35. And notice how we're getting these pockets. So it's ending in Hobart, ending in Altus, ending in Snyder. The back edge now will come up in Oklahoma City. So the sleet's going to end in the metro, okay? It'll end here the next uh, couple of hours. It's going to get lighter. It'll be more off and on, and then it's going to end. But right now, Watonga uh, going on there with some light sleet here in the metro. Light sleet, pocket of moderate sleet coming right up 81, right up I-44. So the roads are going to get hammered another good hour with this, okay? Then it's going to get lighter. Close to home, we have light to moderate sleet where you see the yellows and the reds. That's pretty good sleet. And up north, Ponca City to Marlin to Perry. Uh, some sleet up in here. Enid, you had a little bit, but not much. You didn't have a drop of anything up in Cherokee and southern Oklahoma. Purcell, Ninacal, Rush Springs, some sleet there. Road conditions, once again, they're bad from Altus to Grand Lake. They're bad from Stillwater to Ardmore. So nearly, what is that, about 80% of the state traveling, not good, not a good idea. Lace? Okay, all right, producer's talking to me. I heard you. I'm listening to you. I was listening to Shiloh. You were, you were grabbing... I was like, I was what's... Okay, the baby did kick, so I was, I was like, holding my tongue, on. so we're good. We're hang good on. in that realm. He just looked at me like I just went into labor. No, yeah, I was like... We're good. Okay. My moment was I was listening to Shiloh. Shiloh, okay. you can set the clock. Thank you. All right, everything is well. Let me show you the pictures coming in. We love all your pictures and video. It's not snow, it's sleet. So, buddy, check it out, the sleet in Yukon. Check it out. Not, not so sure. Back inside's definitely... Definitely the place to be. Yeah, it's a little tasty. Wind chills right now really being impacted. These are the air temperatures, single digits and teens. North winds 15 to 30 miles per hour. So it feels like minus 6 to minus 15. And through the day today, look at the temperatures this afternoon into the teens. And here's how we're shaping up. Wave number one is pushing out. And eventually wave number two arrives into the evening. So here's your timeline. Wave number one has been mainly sleet with some heavy freezing rain, getting very light into the afternoon, roads still slick, and then between 3 and 10, light freezing drizzle, some slick roads, They'll continue. Slick roads will continue. And then wave number two moves on in. Power outages, yes, we've had some. We could likely see more down in the southeast. Sleet's been the big story, which is great for the power grid, bad for the roads. Some areas have already had close to an inch of sleet. We'll get more as we head into the evening and tonight. Up to two tenths of an inch of freezing rain, but honestly, much of that has been sleet, which has been great. And a little light snow on the back side. This round pushes on out. We dry it out for quite a while. And then as we head into tonight, Tonight and tomorrow, the next round lifts on in, and that will be combined with what we've had on the roads, and roads will be slick and hazardous. So today, teens, teens tonight, 25 tomorrow. The precip ends about 9, 10 o'clock in the morning on your Thursday. 31 Friday, light wintry mix on Saturday, and here come the 60s and 70s into next week. Guys, our trackers will be out through the morning. Back to you.